All right, we're out here at Iron Gate Wagyu, the home of Futari beef, and um, we've uh, AI'd 169. I thought it took two to 69, but anyway, we got 169 that we did today. And um, we're gonna thaw, what's our sire? A Rubio Bond. A Rubio Bond over uh, R1746, and she's a, uh, a beauty. She's uh, from one of Simon Coates, the late Simon, late oh, yeah, I had Simon Coates. Um, F154 over our own E12, so uh, she should be... Uh, she's good. the goods. She's the goods. And she's she getting be. the goods. Exactly. So we've got our two we, awesome vet students. Yeah, we've got, we got uh, Tim and Jen. students here from, uh, from Murdoch. Fantastic to have them with us. They uh, did a wonderful job today. Um, both, Jim, both Canadians. Both Canadians, <laughs> yeah. Come all the way to the Southern Hemisphere to learn yeah. how to be vets, and they're kicking butt. Righty, so we got our tank here, and these are the different sires we've used today over these um, these ladies today. So there's Q007, a Rubio Bond that, that Peter Gilmore was just talking about there. That's a Sun Lucky. Now we got Liam and Elena. Elena, sorry, Elena. We got Tommy here doing all the engine room stuff, and we got Tom, our Norseman God, who's uh, making sure everything runs to uh, runs on time. And we got Christine over here. Hey, and gorgeous. Keeping the place beautiful. <laughs> right, yo. So let's bring. So what we're gonna do is this is gonna come up. You guys want to go through the thawing process. So in here is liquid nitrogen. The semen's down there at uh, at a very very cold temperature, somewhere around okay. a couple. Okay. Q below. seven bond. A rubial coming up. Bond. A rubial bond. Out comes a straw. Just carefully back in the drink. It goes in here to the into the bath where it's gonna sit for 45 seconds. We've got a little timer on the old dairy mac there. The final countdown. So that semen, which has been frozen in a very controlled process, is now being warmed up over 45 seconds. That'll revitalize it. It's uh, full of extender in there, which is essentially energy to keep that, uh, to get that semen going, give it something to eat while it's zipping around, waiting to do the job. Uh, we've got a bit of paper towel there. We're going to dry it. You don't want to rub it too hard when you, um, when you dry them, so it's kind of a, a rolling process, kind of like rolling a, rolling a smoke if you're into that sort of thing. Um, we like to write the number of the sire on the, on the paper towel. So that we know who it is, they go into this rack here when we're done in order, and then that way, if there's any question, we just we confirm that number on the paper towel with the number of the straw, and then when I AI them, we pull the straw and confirm it again. Um, all these are parent verified afterwards, so it fixes everything up anyhow. But uh, just in case there's any any uh, mistakes, so there we go. There's our gun. So what Tim's going to do is going to pull the plunger back. That's going to allow room for the straw that he's going to dry to go in there. So. We'll lay that in gently. So semen really hates water. Semen really hates light. Semen really hates oil. Semen really hates being thawed at the wrong temperature. So now that it's been thawed, Timmy's going to insert it into the gun with the wadding down. You can see there's a wadding down there on the end. It's kind of like a plunger. We had these two blowouts, Dr. Bergman. Oh, man, we better call somebody and raise hell about yeah, that, shouldn't yeah. we? <laughs> so that's going to drop in there. Now, Can we're going to... speak to someone? I will. We'll, um... Had a couple blowouts there on those straws, so just um, just a manufacturing defect. We're gonna snip the top off that, ping, nice and flat. And we got a sleeve here. Each cow gets a nice new sleeve. We're gonna seat that nicely on the top of that straw, and Tim's gonna pull that down over the gun. There's a barb down at the bottom of the gun that holds that sleeve, so that when I start pushing the semen in, it doesn't push that sleeve off. That'll be a bad thing. Tim's got it down there right now to the very tip, the little blue tip, which is good. That's kind of a nozzle to make sure we don't waste any semen. There's only a quarter of a mil in that gun. So we want to make sure we use all of it. The Yankee straws are half mil. You, Australia, we use quarter mil. The Yanks, you know, they like everything a little bit bigger. I'm a Yank, so I can make I can pull the piss on us a little bit. Um, now, just go ahead and prime it to make sure she's she's hunky dory. So Tim's just going to give a little bit of a push at the bottom. It's going to the semen's going to well up there at the end, and that just makes us know that we've seeded it properly. Cool beans, and we're going to put it in this lady. So here comes our gorgeous gal. She's an R calf, so she's only about a year old, but she's got really good growth figures and she's high marbling as well and we're coming back with a double eater shigadami junior son um weighing 295 at one year of age which is really love lovely for a wagyu and uh as you say we're gonna push her marble score up and her marble finest with this lovely arubial bond sar and a little bit of eye muscle area oh yeah everything you want for a good yeah. futari steak yeah all right good. you want to run this jim thank you Righto, so I got my gun here. Righto, come on in. Come on in. So the first thing I do is I'm covered in poop in the last one, so I'm just gonna I just wipe that off on the flanks of the cow. If we do need a little bit of ovurelin or GnRH, I'll try to keep a clear spot for the for Tom to put it in. And then we go, and I'll make a fist. If you can see that. And with that same bit of paper towel we used to draw it, jam it in the bottom of the sewer. That's gonna open things up nicely. And then I come in with my gun, advance it. 
Now that we're in, I can make as big of a mess as I like. Like my dad said as a kid, you can make as big a mess as you want as long as you clean it up. Now I've got that cervix in my left hand. With my right hand, I'm just going to carefully advance this gun through the cervix. There you go, lovey. She's a heifer, and she's a little one, so she had a very small cervix with a very narrow passage. Now I'm into the I'm into the uterus, so I've advanced it through the cervix, and as I'm depositing that semen, I'm just slowly pushing it into the uterus, and then as I come out, I'm going to give her a little bit of a bingo here. Research shows that that increases conception rate marginally. So what I'm essentially doing is I've gone in there and I've grabbed the cervix, I've taken the, the cervix and pushed it forward to flatten out the uterus. And I've run my gun along the roof of the of the vagina, and I've and then I've gotten to the, the cervix. And the, the cervix itself kind of feels different. This is all nice and soft as you'd expect a vagina to be. And <laughs> that might not have gone so well. The cervix, on the other hand, is a little bit rough, so it's kind of like feeling the bottom of your shoe. So you're going down your pants, nice and smooth, and that bottom of that shoe feels really rough. So once I've found the cervix, then I'm just carefully taking that cervix and gliding it and pulling it over the gun. The uterus itself has got two horns. Once I'm into the into the body of the uterus, then I just deposit the semen and then I drag it out slowly. And then, as I say, give her a little bit of a rub there from the outside. And that uh, stimulates what I think is, I think, an oxytocin response, which supposedly results in better semen mobilization. Hopefully ends up with more babies. So R1746, we'll look for you on breed plan. Hopefully you got an arubial bond, son or daughter next year. What are you hoping for, boy or girl? Uh, good question. That's why we've never bought sex semen. <laughs> oh, yeah, we like the surprise here. Yeah. There's no surprises here, it's the best beef in Australia.